Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a chino, which is a walnut liqueur. And this is from a recipe from Antonio uh, Carluccio's cookbook, Italian Feast. Okay, first off, we're going to go over the ingredients for our chino today. Uh, we have green walnuts, which we have right here. We have cinnamon sticks. We have cloves, nutmeg, and vodka. Okay, the first off is to cut our walnuts, and it the recipe calls for eight walnuts per liter of vodka. And we're gonna wash them and quarter them uh, first to get started. Okay, so what we have here is an old cutting board, an older knife, because these walnuts will stain um, if you let them. We're also wearing a glove today because I don't want my hands green. So we're gonna start by quartering them. And there's the inside of our walnuts. Those are halved and we're gonna go ahead and Cut those into quarters, or close to it, as close to it as I can get. Okay, there we are. And we're going to have to do this 56 times because we're we have 56 walnuts and we're making seven liters of nacchino. Okay, so as you're cutting this, you want to be very careful that you don't cut your finger. So you know, take your time. Um, and you know, don't rush it because you, know, you want to leave this project as that one kind of took a fly. You want to leave this project with all your digits intact. Um, and I did misspeak a little bit earlier about the staining. It doesn't stain things green. It can potentially stain things black. And it's interesting as I cut these, I've never really worked with green walnuts before, and it has a very nice smell to it, very nice aroma. It's almost like a citrusy type smell, and they smell fantastic. They really smell good. So when you're making seven liters of Nocchino, you're going to either want a lot of smaller vessels or a larger one. And it just so happens that I have a larger one right there. A very large carboy that I use for making wine. Well, today is for a different purpose. We're going to be making a Nocchino in it. And I'm sure it'll do a great job. I've sanitized this um, thoroughly uh, with star sand. And so we're good to go there. And now it's just a matter of adding our ingredients. So we're going to start with our walnuts. And we're going to start putting these guys in one by one. And apparently it's going to take a little bit of a doing on some of them, but and these are we're going to put eight in to begin with. Okay, we've added eight whole walnuts that have been quartered. They're into our carboy now. This is per one liter of vodka. And then we're going to add our cinnamon stick, which I just broke in half. So that's in there. And then we're going to add 20 cloves. And again, this is per liter of vodka or whatever liquor, liquor you happen to be using. We have those. 20 whole cloves. There's that. And then we're going to need one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Which we have there, add that, okay. Okay, we're going to measure out our one liter of vodka. Okay, and just, we're showing you the recipe for one liter and so if this jug here looks a little bit like overkill, we are making seven liters in it. So it's going to get pretty full. Okay, so this is one liter of vodka that we've measured out, or two pints. And if you're going to use something like this, it's probably a good idea to have a funnel, which is what we have. And so we're going to go ahead and add this to our ingredients. Okay, if you're only going to make one batch of Nacchino, uh, this would be where you'd end it. You'd probably be using a smaller container than what we're using. But you seal it up and put it in a sunny place or someplace where it's going to get some sun anyway. And let it set for 40 days. We're going to go ahead in the meantime and finish up our 
six more liters to our to our one large batch of Nicchino, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so here's our seven liters of future Nacchino. All our ingredients in there, we are just going to take it. And if you're going to use a big container like this, make sure you're strong enough to do what I'm about to do, and I may not be. But I'm just going to swirl it up a little bit. Get a nice little swirl. Mix things, mix things up a little bit. Okay, now once it sits for a little while, the color is going to change. It's not going to remain clear. It's going to turn a darker color, almost a black. Um, so we're going to go ahead and seal this up and let it set for 40 days. Now at the end of the 40 days, we're going to do a future video at that time and strain it and add some sugar and we'll go over all that in that video. So right now we're going to just go ahead and seal it up. There we go. And future Nacchino. Now um, in our future video, our next video, we are going to get back to our regular cooking, but we thought this was a neat project that we found in um, in Antonio's cookbook, so Italian feast. So we're excited to try it. Okay, until next time, there you go.